The other day on the end of a tie you probably didn't want to be on the end of and today uh, you come back to tie it in the last few minutes here and your thoughts on today's game. Yeah um, it's the other kind of tie I think we were just talking about that but it's you know the resolve it takes for our kids to fight back from going down a goal on a bad moment like we gave up a, a pretty soft goal great finish by their kid but um, you know to then battle and battle and battle and outshoot them as much as we did today but then um, get the one that mattered to, to equalize that it felt pretty good to take us into overtime as the clock kind of started to tick down there when did you start to think about pulling grace craft out of the net and upfield to start to make a play yeah i mean there were a couple minutes left at that point you, you're if you're gonna lose you're gonna lose and if it's one it's one if it's two it's two so uh, the thought was throw some numbers forward and it turned out working out Mary McDermott today thought she had a pretty good game in the back end, and she was another player that you turned up field. Uh, how have you liked the way she's kind of adjusted to the college game in her first season? Yeah, so, I mean, when they dropped that many behind the ball, we had to make a change. Um, there was really no need to keep as many back as, as we had, so we threw numbers forward with, and we added Marin forward. Um, so to get her in and, you know, she's got some pace and she's got the ability to strike balls and, and get in. So it, it just added another number that they had to deal with and ultimately it worked out. So, um, you know, but overall for her, she's been doing a good job of getting herself in um, in the right spots and doing the right things and things that we're asking her. Um, sometimes we need to harness her a little bit and make sure that she's um, doing the things that we need to defensively in the right shape. But... For the most part, you know, we're, we're happy with her development and how she's coming along. How long did it take you to figure out who scored the game-tying goal? <laughs> until overtime, I, until we came off from the end of the game. I had no idea. Um, but then Bree was smiling, and I, I go, was it you? And she's like, yeah. So I gave her a big old hug. It was great. Kind of a lot of confusion in front of the net, but take us through the game-tying goal. I mean, <laughs> I really like set pieces are kind of my favorite part of soccer. I really like getting on the end of stuff. and. Abigail was going to take that corner, and I can always count on Abigail, you know, give me a good service in there, and it was just a scrum in the box, and I was able to get my head on it and put it in the back of the net, yeah. I know uh, tying, maybe not your favorite thing yeah. in the world, but you're on the other side of a tie this time. Instead, you come back to tie it, and do you maybe feel a little bit better about the effort you guys had at the end and in overtime? Yeah, I. it's, it's hard to trying to bring that energy we have in overtime to the whole game, but we got to figure out a way to do that, so maybe next time we can, you know, not take them to overtime and win that game but man that was just a great team effort everybody like every single girl was working at their hardest and that's all you can ask for really you feel like now that you guys are having a lot of success you're starting to get everybody's best every time you go out and it's it, maybe you have to turn it up a little bit yeah i think from now on every time we go on the field as a team like we got to just keep getting better and better because we've got a we've got a target on our backs now like people are taking notice we're a good team and so we just got to keep climbing